All right, Killer Clan, welcome back to the kitchen. I know, two Giant Foods episodes in one month, I know. I don't have a fever, I just enjoy Giant Foods, and uh, the opportunity has arose to be able to get back to doing some Giant Foods episodes, so here we are. We're doing a comfort food, because uh, as you can see outside, uh, you might not be able to see outside, it's uh, 20 degrees, and we got eight inches of snow on the ground here in Pennsylvania. So we're gonna do a classic comfort food. We're gonna do a uh, chicken pot pie. Mr. Pool, so we're, uh, we rethought this whole roaster pan idea and we're going with this dish because it actually, once we fill it full, it would actually look like a pot pie. So we're going to use this. Um, Mr. Pool posed the question, is this oven safe? We're going to find out. So we got, uh, mm -hmm. I, got some, I got some pie crust here. We're going to go ahead and line this thing because obviously you have to pre-cook your pie, uh, your pie crust. And we have, what do we have available to us? 16 pie crusts, because um, there's two pie crusts in each one of these, which normally would make a top and a bottom. You need a nine inch pie. So what we're gonna do is actually, it's this is destiny because <laughs> yeah, look at that. it's actually the size of the bottom of this thing. So that's actually gonna work out pretty well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and line the, lay these uh, pie crust out here and then we'll... Uh, All right, so uh, we went ahead and we lined this pan with... It ended up taking six pies. Six pies. So uh, that actually, it's gonna be epic. So uh, we're preheating the oven. We're gonna go ahead and let that warm up. We're gonna drop that in, pre-cook our crust. Then uh, we're gonna start putting the we're gonna go ahead and cut our onions up. We got three, three fresh ones here. And, um, you know, the only thing I hate about onions is freaking fingers stink. You know, that's the only problem. I mean, see, I'll let Mr. Poole go to the store. See, I would have. I hate to use the term bitch out, but I probably would have bought a frozen in a bag. You know, I could be a gourmet chef, and people would say, your cooking skills are horrible. Actually, that's part of the charm of giant foods. It's supposed to be comical. It's not supposed to be, like, if you want to see my true cooking skills, I will cook you guys a meal, and I'll show you how truly talented in the kitchen I am. You know, if you go to, uh, did you know if you go to Olive Garden and you uh, use their Alfredo and it's delicious, that's because they got the recipe from me. Because my Alfredo sauce is legendary. I made up a batch of it. It's 9,000 calories per gallon. I'm going to drop this in. We're actually going to see, see if this thing is actually oven safe. We're going to go ahead and uh, drop in some butter, get that going here. we got to get our uh, onions transferred. Cook our onions to translucency. We have our cream of chicken soup now. There's multiple ways you can make a pot pie. You can do it with broth. You can do it with cream of chicken soup. You can do it with flour. You can do it multiple ways. And, and the uh, debate goes on. We got the uh, mix of vegetables here, and you can you can really put any type of vegetable in it you really want. I mean, that's entirely up to you. We got shredded chicken. Two containers of that. We got this onion to drop in. The goal is to hopefully not kill Anderson by tripping over him because he's always under my feet. The goal is to hopefully fill that pot pie right up to the top. That's our hope. And if our calculations serve us correctly, Mr. Pull and me, we think we got it pretty close. Onion's looking, starting to get translucent here. We're going to go ahead and add our chicken in. And I know what you're thinking. Well, why didn't you pull the chicken yourself? Um, one, I don't have any chickens here. And two, you know how much time that takes? Cook the breast and the cost. I mean, this is just more, what's the word I'm looking for, Mr. Pool? I mean, like I said, I work all day. 
that I have a full-time job, then I do these Giant Foods episodes for you guys' entertainment. So it's just more economical. We have our mixed veggies here. Now this vegetable's mixed medley, whatever you want to call it. It has a, uh, has a variety in it. It has peas, carrots, lima beans, corn, green beans. I already know Mr. Poy ain't on board because it's got green beans on it. No, no, and I, no. I honestly, the only thing I like in this entire thing is corn. But as you can see, our mixture pot is completely full and we haven't even added the soup yet. So, yeah. Of course, it's going to cook it. <laughs> Do you know what I am saying? Do you know what I am saying? <laughs> got this uh, cream of chicken soup. And this was actually sent to me by a subscriber, and you know who you are, and I appreciate it. Um, she also sponsored this video. So, shout out to you if you know who you are. For those of you that don't like cream of chicken soup, I can honestly say I don't know if I've ever actually just eaten cream of chicken soup. Never. Comment below if you've ever eaten cream of chicken soup. I can honestly say I never have. I think it's going to be low. Yeah. Looks like it. And I don't know. We're not exactly sure. We're not exactly sure if we have enough to fill it. But we ought to be pretty close. The Popeyes aren't done. We decided that, you know, Popeyes are usually flat on the top. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add this puppy in here. Let's see where we're at. We have dust cells. Mm -hmm. About right where you fed, figured it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Gone forever. <laughs> Gone forever. The topping on the cake, or the pie, if you would. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a little egg wash just to dress her up. Help her brown a little bit, maybe. Let's see, uh, let's see how she does. Oh, if you did. Baby. We're in. Yeah, it's time thing time to cook. And uh, it is an absolute beast. Mm -hmm. oh. I I would say that thing's gotta be 12 and a half pounds. It's pretty epic. So there it is, the uh, monster pot pie challenge. That is a uh, two mm -hmm. gallon bowl. Yeah, it's a Big bowl we also we thing. also uh, we we have proven the fact that that bowl is safe to use in the oven. <laughs> All right, Killer Clan. So as you saw in the previous clips, there, Mr. Pull and myself went ahead and put together this monster twelve and a half pound uh, chicken pot pie. Um, I want you guys to know that like the cooking skills and the abilities and how these things turn out it's supposed to be comical it's not supposed to be real real serious the, the, the facts are I'm a professional eater I'm not a chef uh, just a common guy that does actually know how to cook and does cook and uh, there's actually people to vouch for that but don't, don't take the actual creation and how they look and the preparation too too serious because it's supposed to be part of the fun Let's get into Without further ado, the 12 and a half pound chicken pot pie challenge. This thing's got two types of beans in it. It's got peas, it's got carrots, it's got cream of chicken soup, it's got shredded chicken. And uh, it actually has like 12, we figure 12 pie crusts? Yeah. 12 pie crusts. Three, two, one. You know this isn't gonna be like molten lava, right? Because all giant foods end up starting out like molten lava. And uh, I'm even ready for Valentine's Day over here. I got my heart towel. So there you go. Look how blistering hot that is. Mm, not bad. Oh, it's got onions in it too, I forgot to mention. I'm not sure why we're using a fork. It's more of a uh, spoon type kind of deal. Molten lava. It was so good though. 
Mm. Man, that is good. And for all these years that I've cooked in different things, I've never made a pot pie before, and this actually isn't bad for kind of being a slap together. Comment below if you'd like to see this bowl fill <coughs> up to the top of the peanut butter pie. That sounds good. Mm, that'd be big. That'd be thick three D. Got the top of this broke open now, Mr. Boy. Yeah. Hopefully, I can get her cooled down because right now, moon lava. Pot pie and he just peed up. <laughs> he said I may have to pull all these peas out of here. Mr. Pole's middle initial J. <laughs> What's the J stand for? Comment below what do you think the J stands for. Keeping in mind that Mr. Poole used to be a distribution engineer. I'll edit that out. No. What the Just when you think I can't top it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? You can throw 10,000 calories on the floor. Hmm? Steam coming off of that. We're uh, a little over five minutes in. This thing is uh, blistering hot. Gotta get it stirred up and get it edible. Pretty good, that, uh, just that mild seasoning.
Are you satisfied? Dude, you get like five or six bites. Aren't too bad, and then all of a sudden, liquid magma. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We're right in the center. On the bottom, on the center. I believe you think Mr. Pool should do a Giant Foods episode. You know, I make the stuff, Mr. Pool eats it. Since he uh, always has to like watch me cook all this stuff and eat it. Some pie, but it's Sixteen forty-five. All right, kill the clan. So uh, there it was, about sixteen forty for this uh, humongous twelve and a half pound pot pie. That was honestly delicious. Exactly how pot pie should be. Uh, the consistency was good, um, regardless of what you think of my cooking skills. Um, I think we might try this again, uh, making like this big pie variation of things. Um, Comment below what kind of pie you want to see down there. Uh, fill this thing up. As you can see, this bowl is as big as my head. But follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. And with all giant foods, go get yourself some pot pie. I just go get an individual serving. I wouldn't recommend eating a 12 and a half pound one. Take it easy.